this is Jericho, and I am back. I am back with episode two of season two of The Walking Dead. Now, one of my friends was talking about The Walking Dead, and that she said she couldn't watch or couldn't get past season seven. Well, in all honesty, um, I didn't make it past season four. So, as soon as, you know, Rick started going nuts at the end of season four, I couldn't do it. Was it season four or was it season three? I don't know. But at that point where he starts hearing things and seeing things in the prison, yeah, I couldn't get past that. I was just like, okay, no. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Nope, nope, nope. But anyways, let's start episode two. Let's see how bad we can get into some shit here. Previously on The Walking Dead. And they have Lee narrating it. Eesh. I'm freezing. Wait till we get up to Wellington. Then talk to me about cold. Now I'm gonna go look for more wood. Where's the rest of your group? I I'm by myself. Bullshit. Krista, run! I'm out. Grab her. Let's go. Would someone mind telling me what the fuck is going on here? Spit by a dog. For all we know, she could be working with Carver. So, since you're pretty much on your own, what's your plan? I don't know. I'm kind of on my own now. Well, you're welcome to stay here if you want. Jesus, Mary, and Joseph. Think about it. You're Carver, what do you do? Who's Carver? You were in the woods with Krista. Please. Ah! <laughs> I'm fine. I'm fine. Just... just lost my footing. Damn it. God damn it. Come this way! Damn it, you get your asses over here, both of you! Yeah, I think... No! We have to go. You could have saved him. <coughs> How could you just leave him? Yeah, but I don't know if that was a bite wound or not. I didn't want to risk it. It's probably gonna bite me in the ass now. Lovely. <sighs> Just to let you know, if anybody has never played a Telltale's game, and I don't know how or why, but if you've never played a Telltale's game, um, I'm going to tell you this right now. Whatever decision you make, it's going to bite you in the ass later. So it doesn't matter. Well, it does matter on a moral basis on what decision you make, but... Sorry about Pete. Whatever. Why'd you leave my uncle? Back at the stream. Pete got bit. What? He got bit. He wasn't going to make it. What do we do now? If we're stuck here, we should at least look around. Maybe we can find something to help us get out of here. Knock yourself out. Oh, God, why is this guy being a dick? Well, I understand why he's being a dick, but... 
This is a distillery. Distill. I know what it is. The fuck you do. Okay, what then? It's for making booze. That rig ain't fit to piss in. Oop. Do you think they'll break through that window? Guess I'll just stand here, talking to myself. But there's got to be some times where you got to snap out of it there, bub. All this food is rotten. I said this food is rotten. He didn't care. I can understand situations like this can put people on high end. What is that stuff? Let me see. Moonshine. <sighs> Whiskey. Now what? Oh, fuck if I know. We wait, I guess. Sitting there drinking all day. That's nice. Stop. I had to kill my mom. <laughs> Sounds weird when I say it out loud, huh? Luke always used to push me. I never wanted to go into business with him. I remember when he sold me on his big plan. Some fucking plan. Case of beer in, he just said, Nick, we're burning daylight. And that was that. After six months, we were flat broke. I didn't care. We were having fun. I wish I was like him. I wish I could just keep moving all the time. I'm just not built like that. Everyone I grew up with, it all happened to them. Now, it's gonna happen to us. We're all so fucked. We'll make it. Bullshit. I mean, what's the point? We'll just march to some new place and somebody else will die. It's never gonna stop. Eventually, it'll be our turn. I can't believe we've been here a day. A day. It's been a day, right? Hey, kid. Have a drink with me. No, thanks. Listen, they're not coming for us. You should go. Run for it. What, what are you gonna do? Stay here. I'm tired. Go find Luke and the rest. They'll take care of you. I knew someone like you. He was always screwing up too. Screwing up? I didn't ask for any of this. Nobody does, but so what? Oh. Come with me. Are you kidding? And leave all this? You can't just sit here and die. Why not? What does it matter? You still have Luke and everyone else. They're family. Nick, I need your help. Please. Oh. 
Oh, that took me a minute. I was like, oh You're crap, right. I froze it, froze it, froze. Yeah. Now look, if we get separated, cabin's only half a mile from here. You can't miss it. You want to quit pissing that sludge back? Fuck it. This is going to be interesting to explain. Really interesting to explain. Any more? Yeah, okay. Not like it's going to make it any better. A house divided. Of course. Clementine, are you all right? Luke's not with you? Where's Alvin? What happened? It's been hours. Where are they? Clem! We got attacked. By who? Walkers. Jesus! Pete got killed. I was with Nick, but... Thank God. Where were you? Where were you exactly? Down by the stream. We gotta go. Just hold on a minute. My husband is still Lordy, out here there. we go. Get the guns. Luke and Alvin went out looking for you. I told them not to go. Damn it, Luke. Clementine, can you can you please watch Sarah? She's upstairs. Just distract her. And don't tell her anything. Just go. Hurry. You'll be safe inside. Just don't open the doors for anything. We'll be back soon. Sorry if you guys heard my daughter in the background. I just baked a uh, big tray of cookies and one of my dogs, Rogue, decided Thank to get you. a little nosy. I found this under the house. There was all kinds of old stuff. It's so cool. Take one of me. Come on, take one of me. Sure. Get me in a good pose, okay? Okay, I'm ready. <coughs> What's wrong? Um, where's my dad? Clem, you're scaring me. He'll be fine. Are you sure? Need to you want to see what I found? Will you show me how to use it? Show me I how to find use it. Bullets. If something's wrong, I should know. What if I have to use one? Okay, but it's not a toy. I know. First, remember, it's just a thing. What it's does that mean? Um, I don't know. I thought it'd be heavier. Okay, what do I do? 
The most important thing is, when you go to shoot, take a breath before you pull the trigger. Not that big. <sighs> what should I shoot? Don't do that! S -s -s sorry, sorry. Maybe I could practice outside. There's that no. tree. No, let's not go outside, hey, please. Hey, Luke's back. That's not Luke. That's not Luke. Clem, I think I know him. Can't see me. You have to make him go away. Go and find somewhere to hide. Where? No. Clem, I can't breathe. I can't, I can't breathe. Shh. Hello. Hello there. Hello. How are you? Okay. How are you? Well, I'm doing just fine. Thank you. My family and I are set up a ways down river. I'm kind of surprised we haven't run into each other yet. What's your name? Clementine. Clementine? Well, you look just like a Clementine. I think I know who that is. Mind if I come in? Clementine? I've been out all morning and this heat has got me cooked. Yes, I do mind. This is a nice place. Is there anyone else around? You don't usually see cabins this big out here. We have a big group. Lots. Oh? How big? Dozens. They'll be back soon. And they left you here all alone. They must trust you. Well, I'll cut to the chase. I'm out looking for my people. Seven of them, to be exact. They've been gone a long while, and I'm worried they might have gotten lost. Maybe you've seen them. A couple of farm boys and an old man. Spanish guy and his daughter. Quiet girl. A bit taller than you. Big black guy. This big. I haven't seen him. Well, that's a shame. You sure? Pretty sure. <clears throat> Pardon me. <clears throat> well, it looks like a damn tornado ran through here. Must be like close to ten people with you. More. Hmm. Just passing through, or you've been here a while? Hey, listen, kid. I hope you're not one of those nuts headed up uh... north looking for Shangri-La. Just passing through, going north. Whole lot of people headed that way lately. Me, I don't get it. There's just as much nothing up there as there is down here. Who have you met going north? Oh, hell, a lot of folks. Anyone named Krista? No, not that I can recall. She a friend of yours? Where does this go? In the drawer there. <coughs> well, it's a real nice place. Kind of cozy. I knew a guy that always wore shirts like this. Doctor. Real smug son of a bitch, but a smart man. What happened to him? Let's just say we had our differences. 
Sooner That's or later, a bit of a stretch. people close to you will find a reason to cross you. Happens every time. Well, well. White's in trouble. Three moves away from checkmate. What was that? I don't know. I thought you said nobody's here. It's probably just the wind. Who knows? I'm trying to play it as dumb as possible. I don't know how well that's gonna work. I told you, nobody's here. Seems that way. Didn't mean to be rude. Couldn't just leave you here with a good conscience if someone was poking around, right? Sure. Yeah, sure, whatever. Who's this? Well, it's a kid. Yeah. Looks like it was taken in this room. You have no idea who these people are, do you? I don't know what you're talking about. Let me ask you this. When you met them, how much did they trust you? What's your point? If people don't trust you, how can you trust them? Asshole. Well, I think I've troubled you. I have a funny enough. suspicion that that's Carver. I can let myself out. Don't come back. You have a real good day now. Hello. Hello, game. Okay. Phew. Where is he? He's gone. What if he comes back? <sighs> we need to find the others. We can't go outside. Clementine. Oh, Hugh. Sarah. You were with Nick, right? We gotta go find him. A man was here. What? What did she say? Someone came to the cabin. What? Clementine talked to him. And you just opened the door for him? Calm down, Rebecca. Calm down? I am calm. You calm down. Oh, I didn't shut open up. open the door. He just came in. She's telling the truth. Did he say his name? Did he say what his name was? Maybe it wasn't him. You know damn well who it was. I didn't ask his name. You didn't ask his name? How could you not ask his name? Oh, he shut up! I didn't want to make him mad. Look, Clem, just tell us what he looked like. What was he wearing? Did he sound different? He had a big brown coat. Did it have a lining? A collar? Yeah, fur. He talked about you, Dad. You're not gonna hurt anyone, are you? Of course he won't, Sarah. Now, your dad's the nicest man I know, which is why he's not gonna do anything crazy. Or not nice, right? You know these are bad people, sweetie. They will do or say anything to hurt us. All right, what do you think? Did it seem like he'd be coming back? He saw a picture of me. A picture? What were you doing taking pictures? Carlos. What? You need to calm down. All right, you're scaring your daughter. I took the picture. It's my fault. No, I asked her to. It's my fault. Sarah. He was scouting. We got lucky. He wasn't expecting to find us. Clementine must have surprised him. She hadn't been there. Well, he was too smart to stick around, but he'll be back with the rest. We don't have much time. 
He's right. Everyone pack up. We're moving out. Alvin, wait! We have to leave now, sweetie, before he comes back with more bad guys. But it's gonna be okay. Let's just go get your things. What does he want? To bring us back. To what? Clem, I don't know what he told you, but William Carver is a dangerous man. He's the leader of a camp not far from here, and he's very smart. We were lucky to escape. Look, I'm sorry to involve you, but now that he's seen you, you'll be safer with us. We have to leave. Look, we gotta find Nick on our way out of here. You know where he was, right? Yeah. All right. Everybody grab your stuff. Let's hit the road. Whew. Now, you said it was just up here? Yeah, just a little ways. Hey, Clem. Sorry if I gave you some shit back there. I'm just a little on edge. It's just a tough time right now with the pregnancy and all. It's okay. If it's not you I'm yelling at lately, it's Alvin. And then I'm in real trouble. I can handle it. I'm not a little kid. I felt the same way when I was your age. My dad was always giving me shit. And I always thought he didn't know a damn thing. I know you did your best back there. You know, none of us would make it on our own. Sometimes it's hard knowing just how dependent I am on everyone. I'm not used to that. I'm not comfortable with that. I'm supposed to be a mom soon. Guess I need to work on my patience. Uh -huh. Alvin and I still don't know what to call her. Or him if that man gets his wish. God help me. Any ideas? Clem? There. That's where we were. Yeah, but the door's now shut. Nick! Please tell me get he the didn't door. get bit. He probably did get bit. My luck, he did. Jesus. Hey, man. You got any aspirin? Nick, you asshole. <sighs> Pete's dead. I know, man, I do. We gotta get moving. Okay, Carver's gang showed up. Can you make it? Yeah. Yeah. Good, let's go. Okay, Nick's not dead. Okay. Hey, Clem. Uh, I just wanted to say thanks for not giving up on me. Don't worry about it. I won't forget it. What happened back there in that cellar? He do something stupid? Like he can tell me. He got drunk. I was scared. God damn it, Nick. I'm worried <laughs> about that kid. Keep an eye on him for me, would you? You sure you still want to come with us? Look, I know we got off to a rough start, and I can't make any promises it won't get rougher. Yeah, I'm with you guys. And we are glad to have you. Not everyone is. Well, they'll get there. <laughs> They'll get there. I figure we got about four or five days to reach those mountains. Now, if they're tracking us, we should be able to lose them up there. Five days? It's gonna be okay, Beck. We have to keep moving now. It's our only choice. Come on, load, please. 
five days later. Oh, and guess what? It's my time. So I should have said this before in the beginning. Like, share, and subscribe, and all that jazz. And I will see you guys in the next one.